A few videos ago, I took two of my favorite Pokemon and absolutely ruined them using 3D modeling. And at the end of that video, I asked you guys to tell me what your favorite Pokemon were so that I could do the same thing to them. So I went through all of you guys' responses, but what I didn't tell you is that I'm going to be taking your guys' Pokemon and confining them into something even more horrifying. And we're going to do that via selective breeding. And by that, I mean we're going to be using this website, Pokemon Fusion Generator, where you can take two Pokemon and fuse them together into something terrible. And then after that, we're going to be taking three 3D models of these Pokemon and merging them together. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first combo that I want to try is going to be Shelmet, suggested by E Sin over on my Patreon, and Mr. Mime that was suggested by Sample Text here on YouTube. So I'm just gonna put those in here and let's see what we get. <laughs> Mr. Met. Mr. Met. I like that. I like this little guy. Look at his face. <laughs> Alright, let's find some 3D sprites for these guys, and we'll work from there. This one looks good. Yeah, we got T-Posing Mr. Mime. Alright, let's go ahead and import these into ZBrush. We've got Mr. Mime here, and we've got Shelmet. Bring in our reference, and let's go ahead and get started. So, it looks like the main elements that we need are Mr. Mime's face and Shelmet's helmet, and then Mr. Mime's feet. So we don't need these parts of Mr. Mime, and we don't need Shelmet's face. And then we also need to get rid of the shell part of Shelmet's helmet, so let's just try Try masking this off like that and then delete it. All right, let's dynamesh this to patch up this hole and then do a little fixing here. Sweet, we have de-shellified the helmet. Uh, I think next we should put Mr. Mime's face up in there. So let's grab that and scale it down a bit. This is already stupid, I love it. Now we just need the feet in the right place. Let's just mask that off and squish it down a little bit. Just need to smooth out everything. All right, and just like that, we have all of our elements in place. So let's just go ahead and up our resolution and start with the details. I don't know if I like how the <laughs> legs just come directly off of the helmet. So when he walks around, does that mean the legs bend at all? And if they do bend, does that mean the helmet is made out of a fleshy material? Is the helmet attached to the head? All right, let's smooth out the butt crack here and then through a line for the helmet right here. Then we also have these slots here at the top top of the head. So let's make some of those. All right, I think that's enough detailing for our helmet here. Uh, let's move on to the shoes. I think the only thing I'm gonna do here is make a little point where our leg is meeting our shoe so it looks more like it's being worn. So the question here is, do I want to just paste the 2D sprite face on here? Or should I try to make the whole face in 3D? Um, the first thing we need to do is inflate these cheeks a little bit. Cheeks have been sufficiently chubbed. Let's finish out this mouth here. <laughs> so it's fucking stupid. Uh, <laughs> Let's carve out these sockets and then we can throw in a sphere just like this and put it into the eye sockets. The little cheek circles. This could probably just be painted on, but I think it's a little bit more cursed if it's actually like part of the skin. Let's give them a little more of a chin too. Okay, all the facial features are pretty much where I want them to be now, but they are still pretty crunchy. So I'm going to remesh this and then subdivide it all. Okay, here's our topology. Let's subdivide this a few times so that we can get some finer detail like this. So I think we're 
I think we're done with the sculpt, so let's go ahead and export this stuff. All right, it's texture time. We've got low poly Mr. Met. Now we can go ahead and bake all the details from our high poly sculpt down onto this mesh. And it looks like it worked. Sweet. Okay, let's just start off with our base materials. So starting off with this head, we are gonna want a skin material for this. We are already getting into cursed territory with these skin pores. We love to see it. Could be a bit more pink though. And we've already ran into that dilemma again from earlier. Is the helmet fleshy or not? Um, it's the same color as the skin. I think it's made out of skin. I want to believe that the helmet is made out of skin. Yeah, that feels right to me. Base colors are done. Now we can draw on some of our details. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the pupils. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. Could add some red around the outline of the eyes. Uh, next let's do is rosy cheeks. He also has these little um, black lines on the sides of his eyes. Sweet. Let's add a little bit more discoloration to this face. I'm gonna add a little bit of roughness variation, which I always like to do on skin. And then the very last thing that we want to do is add a ambient occlusion pass to this stuff. So if I put that on, you can see it just takes our grooves and our creases, such as where two elements meet here, and these grooves in the top of the helmet to give it a bit more depth than we had before. Copy paste this onto, I think, all the other layers. I kind of like when he's all grimy like this. Even his eyeballs are grimy. It's funny. Okay, I'm gonna discolor the helmet a little bit just to get a little bit more variation in this design. All right, we've officially made the love child of Mr. Mime and Shelmet. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna do the same treatment to Gengar and Scraggy. Leave a comment and let me know which Pokemon you want me to do next. And lastly, thank you very, very much to all of you over on the Patreon. You guys are the reason that these videos are able to be made. So if you would also like to join the Patreon and join in on the fun, you can find the link down in the description or just go to patreon.com slash pfinny. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.